Hello all, uh, this is a follow up on the Gen 2 installation videos I made a while back and I want to address some issues that were uh, kind of uh, bothering me and maybe to make this a little easier for you. Uh, first is uh, when you use links, I'll zoom in a bit here, uh, to get your sources, I think if you're close to the US, all you have to do is just type in gen2.org. <laughs> Sorry about that. And as you can see, it comes up. So you don't have to type in that long uh, address as you had before. So that's uh, one thing. After you've uh, installed the kernel and updated your file system table and uh, gave your uh, machine a uh, host name um, in the file the etsy uh, slash hosts slash etsy slash hosts where it has the one two seven and normally you put v like for example I named my host name was virtualbox vbox um, to avoid that unknown host at the, after you restart is just type in vbox so whatever you named it and then put like dot anything you want so dot home and you'll it'll see you've arrived at vbox dot home so it won't say unknown okay so that's a very simple uh, step to do now when it comes time to uh, configure your grub uh, to uh, download it download it install it um, from what I gather uh, grub 2 is now default so if you type in emerge grub it'll actually download grub2 if you want to do a search and actually get the full path you can do that and then uh, it's become much easier so there's a whole section in one video that you don't even have to bother with anymore it's uh, if you installed arch before it's really similar to it so let's do that uh, emerge and uh, let's do a search grub And as you can see, there's a whole bunch here. And I can't scroll up any further. But, uh, so emerge, grub, and we'll take a look at uh, what is downloaded. As you can see here, it's a emerge, uh, it's grub2 that's installing. Uh, so this will take a few minutes to uh, compile. All right. Once it's uh, finished compiling, um, if you start typing uh, grub and press tab, you can see that it completes the grub2 and a dash. So what you want to do from here is just install grub on the device you installed on the hard drive that you installed uh, Gen2 on. So, so it's just grub2 uh, grub dash in install and uh, tab completion again and then DEV in my case in the virtual machine SDA and then it's simply a matter of grub to dash MK config dash O slash boot this is exactly the same as arch except for grub to part uh, grub grub not uh, ENV uh, CF CFG and that's finished and now you can uh, exit and unmount and another thing that I found out change directory is if you use unmount or you mount and a dash L slash MNT slash gen2 it doesn't come back with any errors, so you don't have to go through that whole process of uh, unmounting the proc and the sys and dev and all that. Uh, you should be able to just get away with that and then uh, reboot your system. Here we are at the uh, Gen2 um, login after installation, and you can see this is vbox.home and the version of uh, Linux and uh, ready to log in. Now you've noticed the screen is smaller but uh, we can fix that 
as well. And then another thing I want to mention too. So log in as your root and your password. I think I set a password. Yep. And uh, simply a matter of just nano. And then uh, this is exactly the same as a lot of uh, Linux installations. Uh, nano slash Etsy slash default slash grub. Press enter. And you can change, you don't have to do any of this, but you can change the timeout to five seconds if you want. And then under, especially in a uh, virtual machine, it says grub underscore GFX graphics mode. Um, it'll accept this now, so you can go like 10, uh, 24 by 7, whoops, by 768. And then there's the uh, theme if you want, uh, uncomment that. Uh, I think it's, it should be there. And then control X and say, and yes to save. Um, another thing is, uh, I was talking about, uh, the issue slash Etsy slash issue. What you can do with that and get something kind of neat is uh, CP copy Etsy slash issue to etc slash issue dot orage or backup, whatever you want to call it. And then another copy ET uh, etc issue dot uh, logo and into etc uh, just plain issue and then we'll do a reboot and we should have a logo I mean um, splash screen and uh, a logo as well so just a uh, reboot and we'll see what we have okay uh, we have the uh, gen 2 logo but uh, I'm sorry I forgot to uh, Update grub. <laughs> That's why we didn't get the uh, splash screen. So uh, log in again, and then uh, it's just uh, grub two dash mk config o slash boot grub grub dot cfg. There you go. Then it says it found the theme. So let's try that again, another reboot, and it should be good to go. There we go, we have a larger screen, and it's a five second timeout, and it has a nice little splash uh, screen, and it's booting up, and there you have it. Uh, an easier way to uh, configure Grub, and uh, you have a Gen 2 logo uh, with the unknown host name fixed. And a splash screen, if you wish. Okay, so that that sums up uh, pretty much what was bothering me in the uh, Gen 2 videos. So hopefully uh, this will last for a while, <laughs> and uh, you can get onto installing Gen 2 in VirtualBox or on your system. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.